Hello my friends, thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. We talk about makeup, skincare. Today's topic is skincare, especially physical sunscreen. Physical sunscreen is my favorite part of skincare and I basically hunt for them, all right? I look for them. In fact, I have a playlist dedicated specifically for physical mineral sunscreen because they are so hard to find for because I have dark skin without a cast it's a lot of work so I will link that playlist down below if you're interested because you are watching a sunscreen video so if you want to check out other sunscreens and how they perform I will link that playlist down below definitely check all of the videos at your leisure so yeah what else if you like this kind of video definitely consider subscribing to my channel and also giving this video a thumbs up and also hit the notification bell that way you know when my new video comes up uh, so yeah today we're talking about Tatcha I was so excited there are two brand new um, very popular launches on Sephora one is from uh, Glow Recipe I just publish that video it is a hybrid sunscreen it is both chemical and physical sunscreen if you want to check it out definitely take a look at it and i was also excited for the tachas the silk sunscreen the glorious piece actually called <laughs> these names seriously the glorious piece called watermelon sunscreen this is called the silk sunscreen the water they it, that has watermelon in its um formula and this believe it or not has silk in the formula i honestly just thought silk is kind of like a figurative way of saying how silky the sunscreen is on the skin but what i noticed was hang on where is that thing there was oh you're here there was this paper in the box and i noticed that i don't think you could actually see it. i noticed that there were like threads actually kind of like not glued per se and it looked like silk it's like white silk seriously there's white silk threads stuck on this like um you know that little thing that they insert i was like why is there thread and then i went back and i took a look at the name and it's like silk they literally mean silk there is silk in the sunscreen and then I went ahead and I looked at the inactive ingredients because active ingredients is this is 100% physical sunscreen and 100% wait not 100% the active ingredient is 10% zinc oxide so there is no titanium dioxide this is a completely uh, formulated with zinc so 10% and then when you open it up like this I know it's like washing out so much uh, in here you have all the ingredients there are some seriously good and hydrolyzed silk i was like mm, okay and it's not exactly in the bottom of the ingredients or anything it's somewhere in the middle so they have used a considerable percentage a, a concentration in the formula silk and then there's also lots of fruit extracts and cacao seed extract uh there's a lot of really really good ingredients in here so this let's talk about price this retails for 60 dollars very expensive the glow recipe was actually quite affordable that was 34 if i'm not wrong 34 35 this guy is 60 dollars tatcha is an expensive skin brand it's a japanese based skin brand and when i got that i was like oh you get 50 milliliters 1.7 fluid ounce which is generally the regular quantity that you get so this is definitely a full-size product and yeah so i was like this is like a compact this is like a face compact like a powder compact and i was look at the packaging my goodness it's so sexy so sophisticated and so luxurious i would absolutely love to take this out look at the color such a beautiful purple this is like a very very pale purple this more darker i am in love with the packaging guys i i'm, I'm just admiring the packaging like all the time uh so i'm like touching it and you can like you can see the like slight reflection i love it seriously okay and the best part okay and the star ingredients are niacinamide and hyaluronic acid so hydrating mineral shield the silk sunscreen because it literally has silk in it and then yep and where is this made made in usa hmm. made in usa and Oh, before I forget, it does come with a PA rating. PA, it's, it says PA and then there are four plus signs. 
So PA rating is a rating that tells you how effective the sun sunscreen is protecting against the UVA rays. This is just for the UVA rays because that's the really bad rays that um, creates that irreparable skin damage, anti like aging damage to your skin where it doesn't go back, right? So UVA is really, really bad. So this is for, especially for UVA rating. It's very good. You don't see a lot of uh, sunscreens made with the PA rating here in the West. A lot of like uh, Korean brands and uh, Japanese are kind of have UPA, like in all of them, all of the sunscreen, they have those PA ratings, but I'm not sure. I really wish something made here have it. So before we do swatches, I do have a the demo section where you'd see how, uh, how these look on my face. So right now I have the sunscreen on my face. Yes, I'm completely made up, highlighter, ultra glowy, full eye makeup and everything, but you see how this looks so before we go get into the demo section i want to show you the packaging and how it's just like quick arm swatches and then uh so yeah just stick around for that and then after the demo you hear my final thoughts so it just like opens like that just like a regular screw top opening then i just want to pour i gotta say this is a very very i'm not even squeezing it's not squeezing i think the the, the actual packaging is so full like I don't even need to squeeze I'm just like things it's just falling out and it's actually quite runny a lot of sunscreens that I see have this pasty consistency they are thicker you have to work it work the product into the skin even with my favorite color signs um, face shields and look at that it's just like this is very runny and before I forget this has a very peachy tint. It's not a stark white looking sunscreen. It has like a very, very light peachy tint. You don't even see it in the skin, but it does have peachy tint. And that is what it looks like. I'm not blending it too, too much, just to give you guys an idea of what this looks. This is my regular skin. You can see it has a lot of yellow. And then this is where the sunscreen stops, or should I say begins. So that's what it looks like so yeah so uh we're gonna go into the demo section and you guys will see how they blend and then you'll see what it looks like i mean you can see what it looks like once i set my face not no foundation or anything very color no color correcting no, no kind of um like major changes or tin skin tone modifications done to the skin i just Put the sunscreen and just set my face with powder that is it and just highlighter and blush that basically it so let's take a look at what it All looks guys, like let's see what this looks like on my skin and you'll see how it's going to blend out and everything right now i have makeup on my eyes as you can see brows done and then lip gloss uh tower 28 beauties lip jelly so besides that nothing else on my skin my cheeks it's just like completely bare just one layer of regular moisturizer so let's see what this looks like i cannot get over this stunning very very unique packaging so as you can see it's like a peachy shade it's very runny oh that is actually not a lot i'm gonna add more i know it looks like a lot because it's so runny but it's not a lot Let's do it face by face. It is a peach, peachy tinted um, sunscreen. Oh, look at that. It's just my regular skin. You can see a lot of yellow in it. And then this side is like after blending it out. Just putting the same mount on the side i like to go closer to my kajal i hate even like a spot on my face not to be covered with sunscreen so i kind of try to get everything there's still this the tip of the nose doesn't have sunscreen you can kind of tell And forehead too. Let's do cover the forehead. This is a very runny sunscreen. So I'm just gonna 
apply the rest. I just squeeze a tiny bit and a lot came out and I have a smaller forehead and this is a lot stuck with a lot of sunscreen. It's okay. Awesome got on my brows too. So that is actually oh sorry I was just like blending very uh, the sunscreen very close to my lip line so that is kind of what it looks like it's like a 100% uh, mineral sunscreen and uh, once it blend into the skin that's what it looks like you can tell that there's a slight difference between my actual skin here and after blending it out on my, the sunscreen but still it's not an actual cast per se and I just did put the sunscreen on it just kind of after a few minutes it kind of like calms down and kind of like blends with the skin and yeah you can definitely I'm just going to quickly set my face with the powder and just put some highlighter on and you guys will see what it looks like all right guys I am back completely made up on my lips I have my absolute favorite lip lipstick right now is uh ysl's candy glaze gloss stick look at the shine incredible and it's also like a nice balmy like a thicker like balmy consistency this is in the shade pink satisfaction and yep and then on my cheeks whoops don't want to drop it on my cheeks i have becca's rose gold and then just the i use this palette so just the blush that comes with it it's like a you see that color kind of a watermelon blush and that's it and i set my face with laura geller's powder and then completely set it with um our glasses i mean lighting powder so in the shade radiant light so that's what you see so this is after setting it with a regular powder just everything feels normal i feel every even without it, I do feel it blended uh, blended seamlessly and so beautifully to the skin. So that's quickly my overview roundabout, roundabout, just like overview thoughts. So first of all, packaging is just wow. So damn cute and so sophisticated and so sexy. It's like I love it so much. Such a cute packaging. Hang on, there's this little tape I want to remove. So packaging A+. Plus. And then the tint. This There is a slight tint which really, really helps to blend so beautifully on dark skin. So that peachy tint A+. Plus. And then zinc oxide, completely only zinc oxide, the active ingredient, 10%. And the best part, it, it does have a PA rating of 4 plus signs, which is incredible. So I'm really, really glad that really wish uh sunscreens that are done here formulated here in the u.s uh come out with pa rating for them because not a lot of brands except color signs i don't think a lot of brands really have that pa rating but if you go pick a sunscreen developed and formulated in the east like korean brands and this one is japanese they all have pa ratings we really need to up our standards to be on the sunscreen stand so i'm really really glad that this one has a pa rating and it is just so lightweight and so travel friendly everything is just awesome and mostly it's a 100 percent physical sunscreen and blends beautifully on dark skin it's so so amazing guys i really 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 love the product two thumbs up for this definitely absolutely recommend it what are your thoughts are you gonna buy this are you gonna try this out uh, let me know down below in the comment section and yeah give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i will see you guys very soon bye, -bye.